Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is actor scale 3D. Let's run through a quick little example here. I have this blueprint and it composes of a few different basic primitive objects and I am accessing the actor itself which will be the root and I'm going to adjust the scale and it's going to adjust everything appropriately. So let's take a look at the node. We can ignore the error. This is just play and error issue. We open up the blueprint. We'll find that I am spawning in a box and saving it to a created box reference. And everything I'm doing is based on the set actor scale 3D node. Now if I was to type in set actor scale even 3D, none of those are going to show up. Context sensitivity needs to be off because we need a actor in order to actually work on this. And if we pull it in, this is what we're going to get. Now if we type in scale with context sensitivity turned off, you're going to get a bunch of options. And looking through here in terms of the transform for our actor, there's a few different versions, world scales, relative scales, actor scales. But you'll notice all of these say 3D on them. Well, there's a point. There's a reason for that. The 3D component for the transform is it's three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. So it's been, if you have an older version, it might just say scale and not 3D, but they've uniformed it. It's now scale 3D because you're adjusting all three points on the scale. Looking at our node, it's pretty simple. It takes in an actor for a target and a vector three for the new scale 3D. We can, of course, split it and get three floats, which is what I'm using for my example here. It's pretty simple. All I'm doing is taking my spinner, talking to the creative box, the item I'm creating, and then setting the scale in 3D. You can, of course, get the scale in 3D as well by just hooking up to an actor and typing in get scale 3D, and it's going to come back actor scale 3D. And it will, of course, return a vector, which you can split, and you get your float x, y, z values. Now, a couple things to note here. Let's first of all look at my item that I am playing with. This is what I'm playing with here. It is three primitive components. We have a cube, a sphere, and we have a cylinder. Now I have a generic scene component is my root. It's basically just something that holds a transform. And then I have these three items as children. When I run this example, I am getting the actor and adjusting its scale. So I'm getting the root here. Now because these are children, Anything that changes on the root is going to propagate down to the children. But it's not going to change the child's scale. So let me show you that. Let me pull up the item I created here. Let me pull this down. And we can see we have my scene and a couple different items. And you'll look here and you'll see my scale is 1, 1, and 1. And if we look at the other items, they have the same scale. Everything's at default. Let's go ahead and adjust our Z to 2. If you look over here, you'll see the scale has adjusted on the Z to 2. However, if we look at the actual components themselves, these three individual items, they're individual local scales here. Their relative scale is a back to 1. If we change it to world, well, you're going to get the same thing. It's still going to be absolutely, whoops, we want back, there we go. It's still 1. Sphere, 1. And cylinder, 1. They, of course, have relative and world changes. And these are things we can adjust, which are separate nodes. But what matters for our example here is, let me change this back. And change it relative. The individual item scales are not adjusted. The children of this actor are not adjusted just because you change the scale of the actor itself. They're all relative. So... The actor has a scale of 1, which is multiplied against the scale of the root, which is a 2, and that's why we get this result here. If we were using other versions of our scaling, for example, on our sphere, and it had its own scale of 2, it would be a 2, and it would not be against our scenes because it's using the absolute scaling version. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's change this back to 1. 
and there we go. So keep that in mind when you're using the actor scale node. There are other scale nodes, but the actor version, it applies to the root. It will not adjust the individual scaling. Those are all independent. And those are going to be our two nodes for the scaling. We have the get actor scale 3D and the set actor scale 3D and sets the actor root component scale.